Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on the trigonometric identities. In this video, we're going to focus on two trig identities. We're going to look at a trig identity which links tan vita, sine vita, and cos vita. And then we'll look at a second trig identity which links sine squared vita and cos squared vita. To begin with, I've drawn a right angle triangle. I've marked in this angle as vita, and I've called the sides A, B, and C. Because it's a right angle triangle, I've called the two shorter sides A and B, and the larger side C, the hypotenuse. And I've also listed the trigonometric ratios, and you'll recognize these from GCSE level. Tan vita is opposite over adjacent, sine vita is opposite over hypotenuse, and cos vita is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this triangle, and because this is the angle, I'm going to say, well, the side opposite that angle is called the opposite. If this is the, hypo if this is the right angle, the side opposite at the C will be the hypotenuse, and the side beside the angle is called the adjacent, so that B is the adjacent. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to substitute in these values for the opposite being A, the hypotenuse being C, and the adjacent being B into these trigonometric ratios. So tan vita, well that's equal to opposite over adjacent, so opposite is A over adjacent, which is B. Sine vita for this triangle would be equal to opposite over hypotenuse, well the opposite is A and the hypotenuse is C, so that's A over C. And cos vita, well that's equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse, so adjacent is B and hypotenuse is C, so that's B over C. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide sine vita by cos vita, so I'm going to write down sine vita divided by cos vita. And as I know that sine vita is equal to A over C, I'm going to replace sine vita with A over C, and I'm going to divide that by, and instead of writing cos vita, I'm going to write B over C, so B over C. Now whenever we're dividing fractions, remember we keep the first fraction the same, we change the divide to a multiply, and we find the reciprocal or flip over the second fraction, and we write down C over B. So A times C would be AC, and C times B, we'll put it in alphabetical order, that's BC. Now there's a C on both the numerator and denominator, so they can cancel out, so we would get that that's equal to A over B. Now what's interesting is if we look here, tan vita is equal to A over B. So therefore, A over B is tan vita, so, so sine vita divided by cos vita would be equal to tan vita. So let's write that down, that tan vita is equal to sine vita divided by cos vita, and that is our first trig identity, that sine vita or sine x or sine y divided by cos vita or cos x or cos y will be equal to tan of vita x or y. Okay, let's have a look at our next trig identity. So our next trig identity, we're going to start off with the same triangle, and this time I'm just going to focus on the tri uh, trigonometric ratios for sine vita, so opposite over hypotenuse, and cos vita is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So first of all, what we're going to do is again label it. That side's going to be the opposite, A is the opposite, C is the hypotenuse, and B is the adjacent. And let's substitute those in. So sine vita would equal the opposite, which is A, over the hypotenuse, which is C, and cos vita, well that's equal to the adjacent, which is B, over the hypotenuse, which is C. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by C, and I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by C. So that would give me C. Whenever we multiply sine vita by C, you tend to put the C at the front rather than at the end. So C sine vita equals A. And this equation, if we multiply through by C, we'll get C cos <laughs> vita equals B. So there we've got this. Now what we're going to do is we know that A is equal to C sine vita. So this side we could call is equal to C sine vita instead of A. And the adjacent, rather than calling it B, we could call it C cos vita because B is C cos vita. So C cos vita. Now that diagram is looking a bit complicated now. So what we're going to do is just remember that A is equal to C sine vita. So I'm going to re replace the A with the C sine vita and the B with the C cos vita. And let's make the diagram a bit more clear. So ta-da. Okay, now here we've got the triangle, right angle triangle. We have got the hypotenuse being C and the two shorter sides being C sine vita and C cos vita. So we're now going to use Pythagoras' theorem on this triangle. So that would be A squared, which would be C sine vita vita squared plus b squared, which is c cos vita squared, is equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is c squared. Now, whenever we square this, well, if I was to square 2x, remember, if I square 2x, that's the same as 2x times itself. That would be 4x squared, just squaring the 2 and the x. So squaring this would be c squared and then sine squared vita. Now whenever we're writing sine squared vita or sine vita squared, you write it as sine squared vita. That is the same as 
sine Vita squared that's the same plus and whenever we square this bracket that would be c squared cos squared vita squaring both the c and the cos vita and that's equal to c squared now this equation has got c squared c squared and c squared and remember c is a positive number so whenever we square it's obviously it's positive so we can divide through the whole equation by c squared so dividing by c squared would give us sine squared vita plus cos squared vita will e always equal one, and that's it. So that's our second trig identity. The second trig identity is sine squared vita plus cos squared vita is equal to one. So these are the two trig identities that we've looked at today. So it's tan vita is equal to sine vita divided by cos vita, and sine squared vita plus cos squared vita is equal to one. Now I'm just gonna look at this second trig identity a second. It's very useful to know what sine squared vita or cos squared vita is, so we're just gonna rearrange it. So you can also make sine squared the subject by subtracting cos squared squared vita from both sides of the equation and when we do that we would get well the left hand side would just become sine squared vita and the right hand side would become 1 minus cos squared vita so as well as having sine squared vita plus cos squared vita equals 1 a useful rearrangement is sine squared vita is equal to 1 minus cos squared vita or we could have taken the same identity and instead of making sine squared the subject, we make cos squared the subject. And when we do that, we just minus sine squared vita from both sides. And that would give us, well, sine squared, take away sine squared is zero, they cancel out. And we'll be left with cos squared vita is equal to one minus sine squared vita. And they're just useful rearrangements to have. So our trig identities are tan vita is equal to sine vita divided by cos vita and sine squared vita plus cos squared vita is equal to one but it's also useful to know that cos squared vita is equal to one minus sine squared and that sine squared is equal vita is equal to one minus cos squared vita okay let's have a look at a couple of questions which involve us using these trig identities okay so our first question says to prove tan vita cos vita equals sine vita and we're going to use that first identity, that first identity of tan vita is equal to sine vita over cos vita in this question. So whenever you're given a question like this, what you're going to do is choose whether to start with the left-hand side or the right-hand side. Now, the right-hand side is just sine vita. There's not much I can do with that. So I'm going to start with the left-hand side. So the left-hand side is tan vita cos vita. Now, I know that tan vita is equal to sine vita over cos vita. So I'm going to replace tan vita with sine vita over cos vita. So sine vita over cos vita and that's times by cos vita so times by cos vita now cos vita is obviously the same as cos vita over one so we can just multiply these and that would give us where well, the numerator would become sine vita cos vita and the denominator would be cos vita that's great because they can cancel out oh and we're just left with sine vita so that's great we've, we've, we've proved that tan vita cos vita is equal to just sine vita Okay, let's have a look at our second example now. So our second question says, prove cos squared x subtract sine squared x is equivalent to one minus two sine squared x. Now again, we're gonna choose whether to start with the left-hand side or the right-hand side. And in this question, we're gonna be using that second identity that we found earlier in the video, that sine squared vita or sine squared x plus cos squared vita or x is equal to one. Now remember that I said there was two useful rearrangements of this, and that was that cos squared is equal to one minus sine squared by bringing that over to the other side, obviously we have a minus, or sine squared vita is equal to one minus cos squared vita. So given that we've got these identities, we can look at this and decide whether we want to start with the left-hand side or right-hand side. I think the left-hand side is the best one to start with. And the reason is if we just replace this cos squared x with one minus sine squared x, then that might be useful. So we're going to start with the left-hand side and we've got cos squared x subtract sine squared x. So let's write that down, cos squared x minus sine squared x and we want to get it into this format now obviously we've got one minus two sine squared x we've got no cos squared x's in this expression on the right hand side so we're going to replace this cos squared x with one minus sine squared x so well, let's write that in a bracket one minus sine squared x subtract sine squared x by just using that identity. Now, obviously, we've got one minus sine squared x, take away another sine squared x, so that'll be one minus two sine 
squared x. And that's actually what we're asked to show, so there we've done it. Okay, let's have a look at our last example now. So our last example says to prove that sine squared vita subtract cos vita sine vita tan vita will equal zero. So first of all, let's have a look at what side we're going to start with. I think that's uh, quite easy on this question. It's going to be the LHS, the left-hand side. And that is that sine squared vita minus cos vita sine vita tan vita. And we're going to hopefully get this to be equal to zero. Now, in terms of looking at this, I'm thinking, first of all, we have got our tan vita. And I'm going to replace that with tan vita is sine vita divided by cos vita. So that will equal sine squared vita subtract cos vita sine vita. And then put, let's put it in brackets, sine vita over cos vita. Now, obviously, here we can multiply. We can multiply the sine and the sine, or the cos vita and the sine vita and the sine vita together. And obviously, the denominators are one here, so that will give us sine squared vita minus. And just writing this as a fraction, it would be well, sine times sine is sine squared, and then we've got our cos, so cos vita sine squared vita, and that's all going to be over. Well, one times one times cos vita will be cos vita. And that's great because as you can see here on this fraction, we have got cos vita on the numerator and denominator, so we can cancel those out. So we're left with that's equal to sine squared vita minus sine squared vita, which is equal to zero. And that's great. So that's it. We've proved that sine squared vita subtract cos vita sine vita tan vita is equal to zero. So the two trick identities which might be very useful for you for your studies are that we have got tan vita is equal to sine vita over cos vita and sine squared vita plus cos squared vita is equal to one. And I know off by heart that, that, that cos squared vita is equal to one minus sine squared vita and that sine squared vita is equal to one minus cos squared vita. That's it.